welcome to mail time. We have an envelope today. Who do you think it's from? Let's take a look. You're right. It is from God. And it's addressed to all my friends. Well, let's see what our remember verse says today. It says, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now, remain in my love. That means stay in my love. That comes from God's true word, the Bible. And we can find the scripture verse in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 9. friends, welcome to the Wardrobe of Wonder. I have a clue today. Ten leopards cried out to Jesus for mercy from their illness. After they were healed, one man returned to worship and give praise and glory to God. Hmm, friends, what do you think is in the wardrobe? Good thoughts. Let's find out. Friends, what did we find in the wardrobe today? The number one. That's right. Let's count to one together. Are you ready? One. Hmm. It doesn't take long, does it? It's a pretty small number. I wonder how this fits into today's portion of the Big God Story. Well, let's find out because it's time for... It's time for the Big God Story! Yay! Hi friends! Welcome to the Big God Story. Before we begin our story, let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you, friends, that are able to join our Big God Story today. Lord, give us good listening ears and eyes to see all that you want to teach us today. Lord, we also pray that you would show us to be more like you in our story, we are going to learn that Jesus is merciful. Just help us, Lord Father, to be just like Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, have any of you ever been playing on a playground and some of the kids didn't want to play with you? How did that make you feel? Sad, huh? Have any of you ever seen a friend who was left out of something? What did you do? Hopefully you saw that your friend was sad and you had compassion on him and comforted him. Today we're going to hear a story of how Jesus had compassion on some men and showed mercy to them. Let's all say mercy together. Mercy. Mercy is when you feel so much kindness, care, and love for someone that is suffering that you just have to help them. Jesus is merciful. Throughout the Big God story today, uh, when I hold up this heart and say, Jesus is merciful, you get to say merciful. Let's practice. Jesus is merciful. Great job. Let's do it again. 
Jesus is merciful. That's great, everyone. We're ready to hear the next part of the Big God story. One day, Jesus and his disciples were traveling to the city of Jerusalem. When Jesus traveled, large crowds of people gathered to hear him teach, to be healed by him, or just to be near him. But there were some people who couldn't get close to him at all. In fact, they couldn't get close to anyone. These people had a sickness on their skin called leprosy. People with leprosy had to live outside of town, away from their friends and their families, so that no one else would get their sickness. As Jesus came near Jerusalem, Ten men with leprosy met him. They were standing close by, but not too close. Why didn't they get close to Jesus? Yes, because of their disease. So they jumped up, waved, and using a very big outside voice, shouted, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. They knew Jesus could help them even if no one else would because Jesus is merciful. What do you think Jesus did when he heard the man call out to him? That's right, he responded in love and with mercy because Jesus is merciful. Jesus told the man to go and show themselves to the priest. The man trusted Jesus and did as he said. While they were on their way to see the priest, their leprosy was healed. All ten of them. Isn't that amazing? They asked Jesus to have mercy on them, and he did. Jesus is merciful. He healed them completely. How do you think they felt? Yes, so happy and glad. However, something strange happened. Out of all the ten men, only one man came running back to see Jesus. One leper, a Samaritan man, ran to Jesus and threw himself at Jesus' feet, praising God for his mercy and love. He was so grateful, he couldn't help but worship the Lord. Jesus is merciful. When Jesus saw faith in the man, he said, go on your way. Your faith has saved you. What is faith? That's right. Faith is when you know what is true about God and then put your trust in him each day. You believe in God and then you act on that belief. Jesus saw that the man, the Samaritan man, knew that God had healed him. He came back to worship and give praise to God. He was showing his faith by his actions. Jesus 
Jesus was merciful to all ten of the men with leprosy by healing their bodies. But the Samaritan man received even more mercy when he put his trust in Jesus. He had his sins forgiven and he was saved. Because of his faith in Jesus, he would get to be with God and know his love forever. Jesus washed the man clean from the disease on his body on the outside and the sin in his life and his actions on the inside. Friends, does God love us and show us his mercy? Yes, he does. How does God show us mercy? He forgives us, that's right. God wants us to be with him forever. He loves us so much that he shows us mercy by sending Jesus, the promised Savior. Because of Jesus, God forgives us and he made a way for us to be with him forever and ever. Jesus is merciful. Friends, in this part of the Big God story, Jesus was met by ten men with leprosy. Jesus showed mercy to the ten men and healed them of their disease. One man returned to worship Jesus, so Jesus also healed his life on the inside by forgiving his sins. I wonder, what did the men think when they saw they were healed? I wonder, why did only one man come back to worship Jesus? I wonder, how does God show me his love? I wonder, how does God show me his mercy? I wonder, is there someone I know who needs to know God's mercy? Friends, I hope you get to think about these questions today and maybe hopefully answer them with your mom or your dad. Friends, Today we heard how Jesus is merciful. In the Bible, the book of Psalms reads, The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. This is found in the book of Psalms, chapter 6, verse 9. Friends, open your hand as if you were going to receive something and I'm going to say a blessing over you. Friends, may you always remember that Jesus is merciful. May you know God's great mercy in your life. And may you be merciful to others this week. Thank you, friends, for coming to the Big God Story this week. We'll see you next week. Bye.